I take food for granted, so I want to reuse my food or recycle, if you will. So first what I do is I go to my kitchen and I mean, well, this is a fridge and I get main ingredients. Oh, shit, I'm out of egg whites. We can just use half and half. Oh, here are some egg whites. So I take some of these, I'll take some whole eggs. Some, somebody might want a frittata in the morning. And then I'll take some onion. And there's some whole wheat toast. I don't, okay. Well, okay, so what we have here is, here. this is a perfect base for matzo brai. As a Jewish woman, I grew up with matzo brai, and I know that that involves matzo, which we don't have, but crackers <laughs> and eggs. So let's just streamline everything over here and put the egg whites there. We're going to put this uh, frying pan right over here, or let me get a bigger skillet. One second. Um, if you're out of oil, which I usually am because I don't know where it is, I just fill my pot up with some water and then I dipsy doodle over here, put it on high. And then, so matzo brai, for those of you who don't know, it's basically like a poor man's version of bread with fat, like French toast. If, oh, okay, so obviously the shell isn't supposed to go in the pan, but if it does, just grab it and toss it aside. Okay, now a lot of people, there are tools for this kind of stuff, but I first, obviously the shells aren't supposed to be in there, so pretend that's not happening. One second. Okay, so if you want to whisk your eggs, which is a word that I recently learned about, you don't use this them. isn't what you use, but you can use this. So you scramble. Do you have a light? What, what is this? I can't focus without. So this is me scrambling eggs. Like, have you ever been to a buffet station or a buffet breakfast at like a Four Seasons or a Marriott Plus? So what they do is they whisk eggs. Okay, so here's their baseline shell again. And then this is the matzah. That's obviously too much, but you know what I mean? You get the drift. And then you julienne the matzo pieces so that the egg is actually, ugh, is this the hair? Oh dear, my bell! This is not, obviously this is an optimal, or these aren't, this is like being in the cat skills basically. But anyway, so, okay. A lot of people want to use fancy words like julienne, dice, whatever. You, what basically what you want to do is cut this up and then you want, okay, maybe it's not on high enough. It's not catching. You want to, okay, so here we go. It's starting to harden. So you want to like, you want people to miss the fact that there's hard pieces of bread in the egg. You want them to forget where they are, you know, maybe you think they're on the south coast of, or the southern border. South coast of France, forgot the southern border, that's not ideal or idyllic. So let me just let that simmer. Okay, now this is goat cheese. One second, I have to get a boiling pot of water. Does anyone have some boiling water? Sometimes it gets way too heavy, and that's when you just know to bring it over to a different. See how this is simmering? It may look funny. Sorry. It's like, well, sometimes when I'm cooking, I feel like I've ate hands. A lot of people don't boil cheese, and a lot of people are wrong. So one thing that this can accomplish is it will take out the saturated fat and the saturated fat is, and I know this because I'm also a health technician, is that saturated fat will cause um, cellulite in different weird spots in your body. So if you want cheese, and I love cheese because meow or moo, whatever 
noise somebody loves cheese makes. I love cheese, so I want the cheese, but I don't want the saturated fat. And if you look right in and zoom in, you can see that the fat is, the saturation is boiling to the, or maybe this isn't on. Oh, you know what? This is not on. Okay, let's go back to this. So what you'll noticing that is bubbling to the top is the saturated fat. So what I'm doing is basically isolating the cheese. I believe that's to, to be Gruyere, even though it's definitely not Gruyere. Once I'm done with this, it will be like basically a popsicle stick. And then I, and you know, if you choose to, if that's something you're into is sucking on a cheese stick, then Okay, so th this is turning into a matzo bright omelet, which was not intentional, but I wanna just, this is something I've learned from Sheryl Sandberg's book is lean into whatever is happening. So, what the, okay, so this matzo bright is turning into an omelet. Let me show you what would happen if I put roast beef into it. Or put the whole baguette, it doesn't matter. And then you flip it reverse it okay and people will be surprised by that presentation but they'll also be intrigued anyway thank you for being here obviously i've got to go to bed <laughs>